So for today, we're going to be looking at the new exotics that got introduced in Season of the Haunted. We're going to be looking at Caliban's Hand, uh, Second Chance, and Reign of Fire. And honestly, these are some of the, some of the mm, I shouldn't say some of the coolest, especially Second Chance. That one looks a little wonky. But I do like Caliban's Hand, and Reign of Fire actually looks cool as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We're going to be reviewing the exotics in a separate video. We're going to be doing them each uh, separately because I really do like all of them in their own way. But... Uh, we'll get into that when we get into those videos, but again, if you guys like the video like comment subscribe Huge portion of people that actually come to my channel or not subscribe. I would really appreciate a sub uh, Like sharing follow whatever like anything would be fine. I just would appreciate it But other than that, let's get into it. So for the hunters we have Caliban's hand. It's definitely a cool exotic But you guys will immediately notice that it does have a char and it does not matter which shader you use the char will always be there uh the cool thing though is you can manipulate it to look really cool in some shaders like specifically the vanguard distinction looks really cool with the almost like the chrome orange so just be aware if you do want to like fuck around with it you can but yeah just be aware of that uh as for the whole set i'm using iron Tr truage cask it's one of my favorite helmets in the game for the hunters just because of it looks menacing it looks really cool for the shader, I'm using Callus as Elite. Uh, the main reason I'm using this one is to mirror the gold that's on the red, just because, uh, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm dumb that way. But it's also just because I want to match with everything. That's really like the biggest reason. Uh, for the act, the other shader, we're using Iron Strength. This is a shader from, oof, this is an old shader. This is from Season of the Forge. So unfortunately this is, I think, I don't think this is in the rotation yet. Uh, Hopefully it is because it's a really good shader has a uh, really good tints of like it's really a uh, brown red Green and then a really good gold. So this is like one of my favorite shaders from iron banner That's not saying much because a lot of shaders from iron banner just slap uh, For the chest piece we're using the solstice vest Which is one of the reasons why I, I went with iron strength is because it gives me a really good gold that isn't a one-to-one -to, -one to this gold. I think this gold is a little bit more on the yellow gold than this one, which is like more in the dark orange gold. But I'm I'm very meticulous when it comes to that. So I know a lot of people are just not gonna care and they're gonna be like, that's gold and that's gold. That's fine. For the boots, the other reason why I'm using iron strength is because I wanted a gold that has the trim right here, that color. And also like there's other golds that will give me that color like for example heat shielded that's pretty good as well but i wanted a, a really dark color like a, almost like a rustic look for my hunter and i feel like this really elevates that for the cloak i'm using again one of my favorite cloaks from the game which is efferdeed's iron cloak this whole armor set is super fire i might make a review on the armor itself so that way i can get people talking about it so bungie can bring armor pieces back from year one two and three because I, well, not year one, we already have like five of them in the game, but year two and three specifically. And then from the older sets as well, because some of these sets, dude, are so good. So yeah, Hunters, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I like this set. Again, the biggest part or the biggest problem a lot of people are going to have with this fashion wise is the, the charring. The charring is going to be really noticeable a lot with a lot of shaders and a lot of pieces. But again, you can pretty much MacGyver uh some pretty cool looks for this because actually let's see let's see a specific shader that's in my head oh that's pretty cool huh. oh it gives it that purple so yeah that's pretty cool it takes the off color i'm guessing because the crucible carmen's off color is purple so okay so yeah that's pretty much my look let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh let's go on to the titans and for the Titans, we have the second chance gloves. I am not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. These, these, okay. So let's get the big thing out of the way. Uh, first and foremost, these arms just look fucking weird, bro. Like I understand the shield here. Like that makes sense. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this like radar dish is. I don't know what the, well, I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm not gonna say they're trash looking because they're really not like you can work around it like i feel like this set that i made looks really good with it it's not the best with it but it looks pretty good with it 
uh, as for the ex actual exotic itself, I think it's I think it's doo doo butter. I will explain it in the video, uh, me reviewing the exotics, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm just gonna say that. For the helmet, we're looking at the Desolation Diver helmet. This is from last season. It's definitely one of my favorite helmets from Eververse just because it looks super, super cool. For the arms, we're using the, the radar dish, uh, you know, obviously. For the chest piece, we're actually using Shadow's Plate. So it's funny because the Hunter had a very uh, Iron Banner feel, I guess. And this one has a very Void meets uh, Callus set because that's just what I think of it or cabal is more the appropriate word, I guess. Uh, this is from a uh, season of the Menagerie, specifically the Crown of Sorrow raid, one of my favorite raids. And again, Bungie needs to hurry up and bring back some old, old, arm or old armor sets because I feel like never in my wildest dream would I think I'd be using Shadow's Plate unironically. Like I actually think this looks really cool with it, especially with the Royal Die Shader because the royal die shader is like a one-to-one -one of this gold which is why i'm using it and again never in my wildest dream would i think i'd be pairing this with anything because to be frank the titan's armor set for crown of sorrow in my opinion looks trash uh for the boots we're using oh my god so we're using the what are these called i don't even remember what they're called i picked them up from collections because i'm not wasting well i should because they're really good but specifically the roll suit from Leviathan. So you old heads, you old veterans that did that. Well, I shouldn't say old, but still you, uh, for the, for those of you who know, this is some old boots and I'm happy that I thought about this one because it looks really good with this chest piece. I'm really happy I'm pairing these two. And then with the mark, I'm using the Tusk Allegiance mark, which is it's more Keitel themed, but it's still Cabal themed, which is why I'm like, I, sh I should call it more Cabal themed than anything else, which means like, personally, I, f I should have paired this with a Cabal looking exotic because that would have been even better. Even the helmet, in my opinion, does look Cabal-ish. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. The only negative I can say about this, uh, this whole set, and some of you may have picked up on it, is the mark itself, uh, works really weird with these two uh with the chest piece and the boots look at that look at that look at that space bro i just that's the only negative thing i can really say about this whole set is that when you turn it around that belt is just out it's so out when you have it in front you can actually still notice it because there's shadowing on the belt but i think it still looks good enough where it's like it doesn't really matter to be fair but if it really does bug you, you can switch to the uh, Psionic Strangler, even though that one has the same problem. So at that point, you just have to decide. You could use one of these or just the regular dig towel that he that the Titans have, because that's also very Cabal. And like, yeah, you can use something like this, which still is Cabal feeling because Cabals do have dick towels. So that's just if you guys want to copy this one to one. but. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely like this set, um, which is funny because I'm never gonna use these exotics, so I'll probably pair it with another exotic, <laughs> but because they're pretty terrible. But yeah, let me know what you guys, Titans, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think it looks fire, but let's get onto the Warlocks and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And last but not least, we have Warlocks. So I decided to make a new armor set for the Reign of Fire because I did make a separate set which I actually like that set a lot more just because it's thematically really good looking. Uh, the only thing I'm wearing that's the same is the Brain of Fire and the arms. I feel like the arms in this set just look really good too. You can switch them out for something else if you are trying to copy this style, but I do like these. So for the hel helmet, we're using the Seventh Seraph hood. This is legitimately one of my favorite helmets in the game. Uh, just be aware there is yellow on both sides of the helmet. Uh, for me, it's not that big a deal for, to, well, to be fair, it is, but it's it's so small that I don't really care too much for it. And I have yellow on the legs themselves. So I guess you could pair that you can, you the way you can think of it is you're, you're pairing that those two, which is fine. But again, it's just so small that it's okay to ignore it. For the arms, we're using the Tusk Allegiance gloves. 
This is like one of my favorite gloves for the Warlocks just because they're they're armored, but they're not bulky. Like specifically, this is armored, but it's too bulky for like this set specifically. Uh, if the arms were a little bit more bulkier than that, then yeah, I would use these. But unfortunately, it's not the case. For the chest piece, we are using the Siege Breaker jacket. So this is weird because I actually hate this set or well, actually I had I hate the whole set as a whole because it just looks terrible in my opinion. But this actually looks slapping like I actually love this look a lot. You can if you don't have Siege Breaker jacket because that is from Season of the Arrivals, you can definitely go with the uh, with the base look of it. It's still going to look pretty good with it. But in my opinion, this one just looks so much better uh for the boots obviously we're wearing the uh rain of fire i love these boots they're really cool looking and then last but not least we have the viper viper Adex, viper Adox, uh bond uh it's really cool looking uh i did really just make this on the fly literally as i was recording i just kind of started making a new set because i didn't want to use the the same ar armor set in two videos i usually don't like to do that even though i've done it a few times but it's just i don't know like i just wanted to do something different because these boots are so cool so it also made me realize that warlocks man your fashion it's just sometimes it's just terrible not like i'm not specifically saying your fashion is terrible i'm saying the choices that you guys have is terrible so it's more so like my condolences because like you guys have nothing nothing that's like tactical at all the only thing you guys have that is tactical is the the deep explorer vestment like this is the only piece that you have that's actually tactical and it pisses me off because i really tried i really tried to find something that was more tactical i thought the high roll cam camo was going to be good until i saw that it just covers the whole fucking boots then i was like i mean that's kind of counterintuitive considering i'm trying to showcase the boots so yeah my condolences warlocks let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys like this look or the other look the one i did previously hopefully i've been showing you guys if not i'll show you guys right now but let me know what you guys think do you guys like the green one do you guys like the red one let me know in the comments below but that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i really appreciate you guys coming up to this point it was a lot of fun making this video because uh arm like fashion in this game is just kind of like one of my favorite things to do at at some points like some points i like for hours i'm just trying to customize and make my guardians look a lot better so let me know what you guys are rocking and i will see you guys later